वेलकम माय डियर सब्सक्राइबर्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ हाउ एज स्ट्रक्चर पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड नंबर्स चेंज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू चेंज changes in environmental conditions most populations live together in clumps or patches populations can grow shrink or remain stable we will discuss this uh, later on uh, regarding population dynamics we discuss age age structure where proportions of individual as at various stages are discussed then we have population density and that is the number of individuals in a population found in a particular area or volume we have immigration uh, where individuals come from outside to the population uh, we also have emigration where individuals live and go outside of the population uh, there is a biotic potential which is the capacity of population to grow under ideal conditions and uh, we may also uh, have the concept of intrinsic rate of uh, increase which is the rate at which a population of a species would grow if it had unlimited resources populations with high intrinsic rate of intensity typically reproduce early in life have short generation times reproduce many times and have many offspring with each reproduction a uh, research reveals that no population can grow indefinitely because of limitation there are there are always limitations to growth uh, limited factors include space sunlight water nutrients exposure to predators competitors or infectious diseases there are always limits to population growth in nature Uh, then there is uh, environmental resistance which is the combination of all factors that act to limit the growth of population uh, the combination of uh, biotic potential and environmental resistance is equal to the carrying capacity that is denoted by k uh, carrying capacity is the maximum population of a given species that a particular habitat can sustain indefinitely without being degraded these are very interesting um, concepts uh, let us think of uh, change in the size of the population in this equation n stands for the size of the population data uh, data shows change and uh, small t shows uh, time uh, one unit of time now delta n divided by delta t means change in the size of the population due to one period change and that will be equal to birth rates minus death rates plus immigration uh, minus emigration so that will determine the size of the population uh, we can also think of uh, the change in population with respect to time and that will be equal to r times n where n is the size of the population and uh, small r is the growth rate of population if the growth rate of population is uh, positive then population will grow if uh, growth rate of population is equal to 0 then population will be constant there will be no change in population and if r is uh, negative then population will uh, curtail it will shrink in size uh, in this graph we have two types of uh, exponential model of population growth if uh, r is equal to 1 then the size of the population will grow according to this if growth rate is uh, 0.5 instead of 1 then the rate of change of population with respect to time uh, will grow oh, like this so these are the two examples of exponential uh, growth of population using exponential model to predict population size population size in future and uh, we have this uh, formula for uh, exponential growth nt is the number of individuals of the population at time t n not or n sub 0 is the number of individuals uh, in the population uh, in base period or at start e is the base of natural log and uh, r is per capita 
rate of increase t is time so if we know n naught and r we can predict uh, population at time t there are few examples if r is uh, 0 0.1 and carrying capacity is uh, 100 and if n is equal to 10 then according to this formula uh, we have that uh, if we uh, the, the rate of change with respect to population is 0 0.9 if the carrying capacity is uh, 99, then in that case uh, uh, R is equal to, uh, I, that is the change in population with respect to time is uh, 0 0.099. Here, these are the patterns of exponential and uh, logistic population growth as I showed earlier. Uh, when we have R equal to 0, then according to the exponential growth model, the population size will increase and the rate of change is uh, uh, very high and uh, if uh, it grows uh, along the uh, logistic growth rate then in that case we have growth like this this is s shape and in both cases the carrying capacity is 1500 that is uh, 1500 uh, exponential growth or geometric growth starts slowly but then accelerates as the population increases Plotting the number of individuals against time yields a J-shape growth curve. A logistic growth means a rapid exponential growth followed by steady decrease in population growth until population levels off. Plotting the number of individuals against time yields a sigmoid or S-shape curve uh, that you saw in the uh, earlier slide. Here uh, we can identify the J-curve and the S-shape curve on this graph. This is the biotic potential, this is the carrying capacity and uh, this is exponential growth and here population stabilizes. So there is environmental resistance and uh, horizontally we measure time t and uh, vertically we have population size. Uh, then we have R selected species, R selected species uh, have many usually small offspring and give them little or no potential care or potential. The high numbers of offspring help the population revive when it suffers massive losses. And uh, some of the examples are like uh, rabbits, bacteria, algae and so on. Then we have K selected species and uh, these include those that reproduce later in life and have a small number of offspring with fairly long life spans and uh, there are some competitor species and their example includes large mammals, elephants, birds of prey and so on. Uh, within the population dynamics, uh, we can have concept like uh, founder effect and genetic diversity can affect the size of the small populations. So first up is the founder effect when a few individuals in a population uh, colonize a new habitat that is geographically isolated from other members of the population. Uh, then we have demographic bottlenecks which occur when only a few individuals in population survive a, catast a catastrophe such as fire or hurricane. Uh, then there is genetic, genetic drift which means random changes in gene frequencies in a population that can lead to unequal reproductive su success. And finally, we have inbreeding when individuals in a small population mate with uh, one another. This can occur when a population passes through a demographic bottleneck. Uh, population density can affect population size. Uh, density dependent population controls include predation, parasitism, infectious uh, disease, and uh, competition of resources. Then we have density independent controls which are mostly abiotic, things like a severe freeze, flood, hurricane, fire, pollution and habitat destruction do not depend on the density of the population. These are density independent. Uh, some examples are like uh, 14th century a uh, baboonic plague killed at least 25 million people in densely populated areas of Europe and that were 
that was caused by uh, bacterium that lived in um, rodents fleas that uh, lived on the rodents bit uh, humans and uh, spread the disease then in the year 18000s irish potato blight killed approximately 1 million people and another 3 million migrated away currently aids is a global epidemic and uh, between the period 1981 to 2007 the virus killed more than 25 million people it claims 2.1 million lives each year an average of four deaths per minute this is very severe uh since 2019 uh, we have had a global pandemic that is covid-19 and it killed many and is still a threat to human population so these are uh these are uh, uh, density independent controls which uh, affects the size of the population human population change is equal to birth plus uh, immigration minus deaths plus immigration immigrants are those who come who come from other countries to the country under uh, consideration and immigrants means the number of people who go out of uh, a particular country to another country so death and immigration both are uh, negative terms and births and immigrants are uh, positive terms in the population change a uh, birth rate means number of live births per 1000 people death rate means number of deaths per 1000 people a structure can be used to make population and economic projection uh, in this graph we see two countries france and india france shows an almost steady increase india shows rapid increase where population is increasing rapidly and uh, currently uh, india ranks number 1 in terms of uh, population size it has surpassed china recently here in this diagram we see uh, rapid growth in the case of kenya then slow growth in the case of uh, united states and zero growth a uh, decrease in case of uh, italy ladies ladies and gentlemen this was a brief introduction and exposition to the issue of pollution uh, population dynamics uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, click on the bell icon uh, you will get information uh, about uh, uploading of my other videos for you thanks for watching this channel and uh, my videos see you in another video